Yo, yo, what's good? I'll praise the most out of y'all. Make sure you gotta like, subscribe on the video. And let's hop straight into it. How haters try to shame handsome men. Now, let's hop straight into it. I had this comment, man, yesterday. And it said, you live with your mama, you work your take five, and you five eight and giving dating advice? Have a seat, youngin'. And somebody said dropping gems. Which is true. Y'all know me. I dropped the gems. And I was like, yeah, I'm 5'9", and I'll bring a woman that you got to have a house for right in my mom's crib. You in my comments for a reason. Now, listen, y'all. Y'all know me. Y'all know me, man. One thing that I like to do, guys, is when somebody come in, if it's a good enough comment, I like to bring them to a video and get them. You know what I'm saying? If they, they really talking regulars in my comments, I'm going to make some money off of you. So, I want y'all to understand something. This is how haters try to shame you. Oh, you're 5'8". You're 5'9". You're not going to get no women. Yeah. You'll pull a, a woman before a nigga that's 6'5". A man that's 6'5". I ain't going to even say any word no more. But you'll pull a, a, a woman before a man that's 6'5". That's why he's so pressed. He's hating. You have been you have been disqualified at birth, allegedly, with your height. But you still got the looks to make up for it, big dog. So you still gonna be able to pull them type of caliber of women that a guy who's six five would. But he's hating. He's jealous. He's envious. Because I have a platform speaking nothing but truth. And y'all can relate. He probably got to go get all his money. Go get all this type of stuff. But a guy like me can bring a girl to my mama house and go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Any other thing I do is for me. Handsome guys around the globe are ashamed for having to do less. That's the problem. You do less and get a big result. While they do more and get a lesser result. All I have to do is stay in the gym, work out, keep looking good, and I get them. Guys, I've literally had a woman tell me, I sleep on the air mattress with you if I got to. I know. I know you don't have to take me out for drinks. It's cool. I'm perfectly fine with that. Women are accepted. I tell women all the time. I live in my mom's crib. Oh, you know what I'm saying? That's so cute. You think they give a damn about that when they attracted to a guy? This is how you know when somebody's a hater. They're not worried about getting a woman, trying to attract a woman. They're worried about you. They're looking at the things you're lacking and trying to shame you for lacking them. What the hell you want me to do? Get legs sir? You so I can walk like that? Nah, man. All I'm going to do is keep the sauce, stay in the gym, and I'm going to just be pulling something you can't get. It's really simple. But these guys constantly hate. Why is it that a guy with less can have an a, a attractive woman at his mama house, but a guy with more can barely do anything? Can barely have any type of success with a woman. This is why dudes hate on you. The lesser you do to get a woman, the more and more they will hate. Because I promise you guys, I can't stress this enough. The way that woman is treating you is not the way she's treating the guy that she's not attracted to. This guy right here probably been looked over his whole life. His whole life. And y'all know the video. Um, uh, Let me tell y'all the video that he commented on. He commented on the video of... Basically, what I just told you guys of how women treat men differently according to attraction. You know, with Superhead, Lil Wayne, and uh, Darius McCray. In order for a man of that age to respond on a to respond with a comment like that under a video like that, that tells you everything you need to know. He could have went to any other video, but he went to that one specifically. Because he has been in that situation where he's doing all this to get this woman, and she probably getting clapped up. By some guy like me. And now they mad. They in their feelings. You live with your mama. You live with your mama.
at your mama. You live with your mama. You fire me. They mad. Meanwhile, I'm just smiling like, hey, you trying to come to my mama crib? Oh, okay, but I'll pick you up, babe. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. The lesser you have to do, guys, the better off you are with these women. If you got all this money and they just want you for the money, who are you really as a man? Who are you really? It's okay to have money. Listen, guys, I don't knock any man. As long, I'm going to say this, guys. As long as you are very upfront and honest about what you're doing, if you know you're tricking off on women to get you something, then be cold-hearted. And I say cold-hearted. Be wholeheartedly honest about it. If you have money, I don't knock you for doing using money to your advantage. I don't knock you. Do what the hell you got to do. But don't shame another man for not having to use money to get women. Don't do that. And, guys, I'm going to just give you a, a food for thought real quick this money situation. You can have a lot of money and not buy, buy a woman. Some a woman that just want to be around the damn money. But it's guys like this who constantly hate on guys who don't have to do anything. These men have yet to work on their, on their raw appeal to a woman. Y'all got to realize that. A woman will take all that money and still be smashing the guy she's really attracted to. A woman wants stability. She'll use you for stability. But they got it she really wants. Oh, yeah. It's up. That's what she really going to go to. That's what she really wants. That's who really has her mind. Y'all have to understand that, man. You can't be sitting there hating the player. Hate the game. That is some of the most feminine things you can do is... Shame a man for lacking something, but he's still getting something. That's the worst thing you can do. The worst. The worst. These guys are so mad. They get these big ass houses. They have all this money in their bank account. And they still having trouble. They still having trouble. Still. You might be soft. You might have got your heart broken. Some guy took your girl more than likely. I don't have these problems, guys. These women ain't asking me for no money. They not. And it ain't even because I'm broke. If anything, with what I drive, I'm not even bragging. They should be asking me for money. But they not. You know why? They too busy telling me how rawly attracted. They too busy licking on my abs. They too busy kissing on my neck. When you got that type of sauce, you got that type of sauce. You got all this money, but you stand next to me. She looking at me. Instead of turning her neck like this. I sit there and watch women all the time. I be sitting somewhere chilling. And I'm watching them talk to this older guy that's a little bit more stable. But I'm I'm literally watching her. I'm literally watching her. She's talking to him, talking to him. He's talking to her. But she's constantly turning around, looking at me like, she's like look at that. Look at this. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Look at this. She's looking at me. Why she's talking to him. And why is that? I got the sauce. That's why. You have the sauce. But guys are jealous about that. Guys are mad because they have to use their money. Their accomplishments. They have to use all of this to appeal to a woman that is going to sleep with a guy that don't even got an air mattress. I see it all of the time. Listen, I see it all of the time, guys. A woman, these, I'm talking about beautiful women. Beautiful women coming up in my class. Will sleep around with these guys who have nothing. Athletes and jocks that sometimes have nothing. Thugs, you know, attractive, attractive guys. Attractive guys that don't got nothing that's just, you know what I'm saying, living a regular life. Just attractive. And they'll end up marrying a guy like these in the comments. I've literally seen it. Literally. So, this is how haters will try to shame me. Be like, oh, you know, whatever you're lacking as an attractive guy, you know, you might be shorter. You feel me? 
you might have you might have something like something might be wrong with your teeth a little bit. You know, it's not so bad to the point where it stops you from getting girls, but it's something that another man will try to use to bring you down, to shame you, to to make you feel like, oh, you really ain't pulling nothing. Oh, you still like this. You know what I'm saying? This is what they'll try to do. That's what they'll try to do. So understand this, man. This is how haters will try to shame you. They'll try to use anything they can because they're triggered by the fact that you don't have to do anything to get no girls. Like I told you about that fat dude. If y'all was on me, uh, y'all was on that live with me and Noto, shout out to the, shout out to the homie. But I was even speaking on that situation of how that fat dude was talking about some. I could still smash the girls you did, and I don't work out of nothing, and I'm fat. And you done did all of this. You're going to be mad because I'm going to be smashing the girls you smashing. And you done did all of this. Listen, my guy. When you put me next to you, you're invisible to the girls that want me. You're invisible. You know why? Because you're fat. So, understand this, man. You can be the, the most, the most well-paid whatever you want to be. But guess what? Just how Steve Harvey is a very well-paid man. What is his wife doing? She's getting smashed by the bodyguard. By the bodyguard, right? You haters have to stop shaming attractive guys. I'm trying to give you the sauce. But you guys insist on hate team. You insist on hate team. Instead of understanding the reason why you're in that predicament that you're in. And start understanding that. Raw attraction gets women to sleep on their mattresses with you. It gets women to come to your mom's crib. Just li listen. Shout out to AMS. There's a reason I listen to certain content creators, man. Certain content creators that have always been spending that real, you know. Obviously, they evolved. But think about AMS, guys. He literally said he had an attractive woman from the gym a dime. Sleeping in his nephew room in his nephew nephew bed with him. Still bringing girls to the basement. That should tell you something. You should want to improve as a man and get your finances up, of course. We don't want to be eating damn we don't want to be eating a can of pork and beans every damn day. But you should also, you know, work on your appeal. Your sex appeal will always mean everything. The proof is everywhere. But listen, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'm out.